Hi, it's John from Android Addicts, and this is a benchmark comparison between the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Galaxy Z Flip 3. So we're going to start off with the Geekbench test here, and this is the CPU benchmark. Now obviously these are both running the Snapdragon 888 processor, so the only differences here will really be the software behind the scenes in the One UI 3. So as you can see, I have put the thermal widget here in the top of the screen. So we can monitor the temperature of the phones as they go through these tests. This widget is called Thermal Monitor. I've put a link in the description if you want to pick it up on the Play Store. It's a free app, so it's uh, quite handy for this sort of thing. And I did charge both phones to 100% before starting this, and they have both dropped to 99% now. I think the Flip 3 was actually already at 99% when I started recording, and it is a couple of degrees warmer as well by the look of it. Okay, so some very nice scores here from both phones. These both beat the Galaxy S21, so the Fold here with a nice single core score of 1123 and a multi core of 3407 versus the flip with a slightly lower single core of 1117 but a higher multi core score of 3503. So we can see these both have the July security patch installed. This is the current latest software version, just in case you were wondering. Okay, let's move on to the compute benchmark now. And again, I'll skip to the end and we'll see how they both compare. Okay, so the compute scores are in and the fold scores are nice 4679 compared to the flips 4578. Now this is even running a tiny bit warmer than the flip here at 30 compared to 29, 31 it's just popped up to. So even though it's running a bit warmer, it is still actually outperforming it at the moment. Now I have got the Galaxy Guardians installed on both of these and we've got Thermal Guardian installed with a increase of two degrees on the thermal limit so hopefully that will be helping these two so I'm just going to let these cool down a tiny bit and then we'll move on to the Antutu test. Okay so we're back at a more normal temperature now 26 and 27 and we're going to go into Antutu and start the standard benchmark. This is running version 9.1.1 as you can see here on both so let's just do the test and see which one comes out on top. Okay, so the results are in, and the Z Fold 3 gets 761,523, and the Z Flip 3 gets 751,866. So there's nearly 10,000 difference between the two phones, but it was quite interesting as I started the test, you know, momentarily quicker on the Fold 3, but the Z Flip 3 decided to actually catch up and overtake, and then the Fold overtook again in some of the other tests. And yeah, it was quite interesting to see them go back and forwards really. They didn't get that warm either particularly. So the Fold 3 over here only got up to 33.8 at a maximum. And the Flip 3 only got to 30.9, so 31 basically. So quite interesting there. Now obviously the Fold does have a much bigger screen, so it's more power and more, you know, energy being used up by the phone. So very similar between the two, but I will just open these up. And if you want, you can pause and compare the scores here. certainly say that the flip seemed to struggle a bit more with the video encoding than the fold. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these cool down again and then we're going to run the 15 minute stress test and again compare the results and see what they look like. Right we're at a more suitable temperature now so we're going to run through the stress test and I'm just going to set these up to run for 15 minutes. The safety temperature 50. 
and I will skip straight through to the end of this one because it's extremely boring, it's just this screen, and we'll just see how they both compare. Okay, so the stress test has just finished and the results are quite interesting. So I'm gonna put them on the screen in more detail so you can have a look through them. So let's take a look at the Fold 3 first. We can see that the CPU performance has done pretty well, averaging I'd say around the sort of 80, 70 to 80% mark. Quite a few peaks at 100% as well, so that's good to see. And just turning off a bit at the end there, going down to around 65 to 60%. Now if we compare that to the Flip 3, we can see a slightly different story here. So quite a few peaks at the start, going to 100%, but overall it is dipping down a lot further towards the 50, 40% mark, especially towards the end of the test. We've got it sort of stabilizing at around 80% halfway through, or a third of the way through the test. But then towards the end, we can see it does go down a fair bit. Just a few peaks towards the end at around 75% and then back down to around 40 to 50% performance. So if we compare the cores now then, we can see that the Fold 3 has done very well here. All the cores running very well indeed. Maybe core number 6 is dropping a tiny bit around the 7 to 10 minute mark and again around 12 minutes. Similar to core number 3 as well. But overall, they are running as you would expect. Now looking at the Flip 3, we can see quite clearly that there is some throttling here. So at around the 5 minute 30 mark, we can see the cores literally step down one step. And then as we get up to around 8 minutes, they step down another step. And they keep at this performance at around 2.1 gigs for the remainder of the test. Now I did read somewhere that the Flip 3 does throttle a bit more than the Fold. This is because it does have a smaller battery, so it does try and conserve energy a bit more. You can see that in the fact that the temperature doesn't actually get too hot on this phone in comparison to the Fold, which does get a bit warmer. We can see the temperature of the Fold got to nearly 40 degrees, whereas the Flip only got up to about 31, 32 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to put that down to the software. The Flip is definitely being told to throttle itself. But as I said, I was expecting that before I actually started the test because I had read that was the case. So it is worth knowing though, just in case you're a big gamer, just be aware that your phone will throttle somewhat the longer you play the game. Okay then, last but not least, we're gonna move on to the 3D Mark tests here. So we're gonna start with the wildlife, then we're gonna move on to the slingshot test. Okay then, that was nice and quick. And the flip actually comes in at 5824 compared to just 5664 on the Fold 3. So you can see here there's a slightly faster frames per second on the flip in comparison to the fold. Nothing you'd really notice whilst gaming I imagine, but it is worth noting. So basically what that means, as you can see here, the flip managed an extra frame per second over the fold. But don't forget, this is a much bigger display that this has to power and run, so that's kind of to be expected. So I will now move on to the slingshot test on both, and we'll just see how that fares. Okay, so the slingshot test is finished and the results are quite interesting. We can see certainly temperature wise at least, the fold is at 34 compared to 29 on the flip. And the final scores here, we can see that the fold didn't get itself maxed out, it only got 7,980, whereas the flip did max itself out. It's quite interesting looking at the different results here in frame rate. So it's a lot smoother on the flip here, 68 versus 60 in the first test and 40 versus 34 on the second test. Physics scores are around the same, a tiny bit better on the flip for the very last one, but overall it's really the graphics tests where you will notice the difference. So looking at the frame rate here, we had a minimum of 24, a maximum of 91 on the fold, and a minimum of 25, and a maximum of 102 on the flip. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a quick look between the two phones. Just compare them in case you are wondering which one is right for you. If you are a big gamer, you're probably going to want to have a bigger screen anyway, so you're probably more likely to get the Fold, I'd imagine. But you can see from the flip, it easily holds its own when it comes to gaming, in the benchmarks at least. I'm going to be doing some proper gaming tests with these two phones, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to be notified when those get released. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, please click on that like button and you can even click on the join button if you want and that helps support the channel. That's really much appreciated. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.